you doing? Ronnie and David here again. Well, we just picked this up a new tillage tool. Uh, we got the Armstrong Ag. 10 foot disc. I think it's about a nine and a half foot, nine five cutting with a model X18, 100. Uh, 20 inch notch blades, I believe. Of course, you know, pull tight. I sold my 14 footer. I had an old 14 footer B BWA old John Deere disc. I got a seven or eight foot um, Taylor wing, I think. But anyway, I wanted another disc. Uh, this is more of a medium duty disc. Of course, we live here in South Central Texas and it's mostly sand, sandy loam, so it really ain't no use to getting something heavy duty. I looked at the Hay King. Uh, considerably more money than this. This one here was about 6500 I got it from my local John Deere dealer, um, Tennis Equipment in Floresville. Uh, I think this is gonna work for us. I can pull this one with this little Kubota 75 horse, and then we got that other little Taylor Way that David can pull it with that little John Deere 5105. This is not gonna tell me much. We just hooked it up uh, just to see. We've already disted this here. Um, we ran that Taylor Way over a while back. Uh, you know, with the, with the norther starting to come in and get all the traffic out there and damn fools out there throwing cigarette butts. So we do a fire break. We haven't really dissed this 12 or 15 acres in a while. We haven't planted any ultra rye grass in a couple of years because of the drought. Uh, and we're still not knowing what we're going to do this year. Uh, I am I am going to throw some rye grass seed out here, but I might just throw about 50 pounds of the acre. Uh, I'm going to run a disc over at one time, spread the seed, and have David run it over with the drag. We're not going to put a lot of money in it. I think the ryegrass seed is about 40, 40 or forty-five dollars a bag right now. Uh, so we'll do that probably right around Thanksgiving time. I think this La Nina is supposed to kind of end, pull up in somewhere in the middle of the winter time, or twenty, you know, twenty-three January, February. So if we get some rain in and it still does grow, uh, I'll keep, I can have some feed for the cows and then maybe around uh, April, late March, April, I might get a little hay cutting off and throw me some bales in there. But this ain't gonna tell us much. We're just gonna run it. David's gonna follow us uh, and just see how this does. Uh, it, it's not gonna tell us nothing how it's gonna work. I just wanna see how it pulls. So it's just gonna be a short video. And I'll let y'all know what I think about this disc as we use it more often. I wish it had greasable bearings. It doesn't, they're still bearings. Uh, I don't know, we'll figure it out. I mean, it's gonna do good for what we need it for. I know there's bigger guys out there that need you know, heavier stuff, but for this little sand and sandy loam, this is all we need. But David will follow us along and uh, see what it kind of does. Like you said, it's not gonna show us much. The gangs are set on the, on the most aggressive cut they can be. We just picked it up today. I'll get up here beside him once we get past this little spot right here. Y'all remind me to come pick up that big rock.
Hill. Doing good. We'll have to adjust the gain. Um, I said we just picked it up a little more an hour ago. Uh, I can I can feel it down in the ground. Um, let me see what size this is. I think that's one. Yeah, they're 20 inch. Uh, but I can tell you, I feel a lot more. I can feel it back there. We're gonna adjust the gains. Uh, but you went, we went over that. Like I said, this over here had been this before, as you can tell. But for a one pass, single pass right here, that looks good. Yeah. You know? I'm gonna straighten them gangs out. Three inches? Yeah, I'm gonna straighten them gangs out. Take some of that aggressiveness out of there. Uh, and we're gonna run, we're gonna, we'll run over the whole pasture. But, we're gonna go back to the back. Uh, we'll do some, we're gonna get some, uh, uh, we gotta do something to the blind real quick, pull the card out. David's got youth weekend this weekend. Uh, so he gets to hunt Saturday morning and we got a nice 12 pointer out there that we're gonna get. But uh, we'll bring you back when we get back over there. All right, simple. Well, here's their old Taylorway disc. Uh, this here, I think it's a seven foot. You know, it's, I mean, we've had to, I replaced the front gangs on it, all sets of the disc on the front gangs. I replaced, of course, some bearings. I don't know if y'all can see there. Uh, but I just sold my 14 footer. I had a 14 foot that, like I was saying earlier. Uh, but this one here, David will be able to, David will be able to do a little disking so he can maybe get some acres knocked out for our smaller operation that we have. You know, and we do do custom, I, you can say custom. We kind of cater to the smaller farmer, rancher, or whatever. Uh, well, of course, I got smaller equipment. Both, I buy all this stuff just for me, but we do custom work. 
you know, such as planting, hay bedding and stuff to pay for this stuff for me. So it basically pays for itself, you know, and my cows. Of course, we sold some cows here lately and sold a little bit of hay. Uh, I did sell some calves here a couple weeks ago. I had to sell some hay because I had too much hay in my, both of my hay traps are full and my cattle pens, I had hay in my cattle pens. So I sold some to get it out of there. But this here tractor, this is a 2005. It's got about 1100 hours on it. Yeah, it's got a bad tire. We actually had another tire on the Kubota, the same 24.5 that I cut. It got like a sidewall cut somewhere in here. And uh, so I put the new tire that I had bought for that truck, I put it on here. And then that one there, I just took it. Mind you, this was two years ago uh, when this happened. And I bought the tire, uh, but I just took it last Thursday, Friday, Wednesday, something to get vulcanized. We can put it on that one. I'm tired of airing it up. I mean, I got a compressor on the truck. But we'll take you, y'all can see now that, you know, a little bit of the, little bit of the grass is greener. I mean, we're, we're, we're still in a drought situation here. Uh, we did get some rain. We got a half inch the other day. Uh, and the funny thing here, when we were moving that hay last week, I'll tell you, by the way, inside. Inside? Yeah, I think. Oh, maybe. Um, we don't have the right size ranch for it. Yeah, I got it. Them yeah. Rust off them threads. Let me go grab the wire brush. But anyway, uh, we uh, we were moving, we were moving them bales, and all of a sudden, I came to park the tractor over here, and the uh, spear fell out. I'm glad it didn't happen when it was up there. Should have just welded it in, but David don't want me to. So uh, we'll get we'll clean the threads and get some PV blaster and bring our bigger set of wrenches because I think we got to an inch and an eighth up there. Inch and a half. Then I've got a set of uh, big sockets and all that. But let's go to the back and check. Okay. Let me go put my stuff up. I'll be coming to do this. Okay. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying we got a little green grass. We got much, but there's something. You know, I'm a, I fed a bale of hay the other day. But we're down to just a few cows. Um, so we got about 80, 90 bales of masses through the winter, which I use the our, win, our winners, you know, they're not bad like anybody else. Yeah, a couple years ago we had that one that we caught hell. I mean, it was terrible, worst week of my life. You know, I'm, I can handle 100, 105, 110 degrees, but I can't handle that 9 or 10 degrees. And then we had snow like five times. Yeah, it snowed. I mean, dang near, it snowed. I've seen snow four times in my life. I'm 49. I've seen snow in 1985. It snowed San Antonio, Hallisville, and all that. And I can't remember how many inches we got. Hell, I was uh, 13, no, 12, 13 years old, 12, 12 years old. But well, anyway, then I seen snow in 2017. It snowed here one night. I was at, I go to bed early. And we were sitting at the house and watching the news, and everybody talking about it's getting ready to snow, getting ready to snow. And us in South Texas or South Central Texas or whatever, you know, North Texas gets snow, West Texas gets snow. Very used to that, but us down here we're not used to it and uh so i was already going to bed and then my wife said it's snowing they're gonna go outside with the kids and uh play i said you know what am i gonna get to play with my kids in the snow so we went out here for an hour hour and a half or whatever cold snow played snowballs or basically it was like water uh you know played around a little bit but and then you know didn't see no snow after that so that's twice i seen it and then, I guess it was 2020, I think a couple years ago, I think we had that week, man, it was terrible. And we had nine, 10 degrees, and I mean, I just ain't built for that, hell no. We can, you know, to me, 32 degrees is a little too cold. 35 is cold for me. I like it about 45 to 50 for the low. That's about perfect for me. Uh, but, you know, we gotta have some freezes to burn, you know, kill off some insects and stuff like that. But, yeah, you know, I always had a dream of moving to Montana. Oh, the hoop, I ain't happening. I remember years ago, we had a freeze. Uh, I wanna say David was probably about, he's probably two, three years old, so 2009 or 10. And we lived in Elmendorf, that little town kinda, I would say it's a little more west of us. And it's only a few you know, a few miles down the road. But anyway, we was on a well, and our well froze, and my wife was out there with a dang hair dryer trying to unthaw it. 
you know, unsaw the, the, the box and uh, the dang gecko came out or something, or a lizard come out and said, just stayed right there by the heat. Yeah. We get to hunt over feed or so, see that, so we don't have that problem. We, nope. We just, this is a, this is a guarantee. We can we can kill a deer in about five minutes once we get in the blind. You know we got we'll get in the blind about six thirty, but it don't get light here till seven fifteen or so. So we gotta wait for light, of course. Uh, but we can stay here five or ten minutes and we'll shoot a deer. Uh, we just gotta cut the. Cut the in there. Yeah, make sure ain't no bees or wasps, whatever they call them. I'm allergic to them. Uh, so they will cut some slits in there. We'll probably cut those slits when we're sitting in there. Okay. Get the uh, the big the, the blower. And then of course I get bucked off my horse the other day and hurt my hand, so that put me out of commission for about two weeks. <laughs> Grab the card and grab the card, and I'll just bring the blower tomorrow. We'll blow it out. I gotta put a new deal on there. But anyway, we'll bring you some more updates on that disc if y'all want to know. Um, might even bring you a little hunting video this weekend. But y'all have a good one. We'll see you next time.